Okay, so we talked about the ITSF competitions. Yes. Um, now there are certain tables that can be played in the yeah. competitions, cert certain brands, certain manufacturers. Yeah. So which are the manufacturers and what are the small idiosyncrasies and, mm. and how is it for you as a player with each of the different brands? Well, firstly, the ITSF have done a fantastic job at picking five table types that are very different from each other. They've all got rods, balls and a goal. Okay. They've all got legs, yep. but really the similarities end there. The ITSF have got a very strict procedure of which tables they let into their federation. And they've done this to allow for high levels of tournament play. Although there will always be luck in every sport, to reduce maybe more lucky goals is more down to skill. And they've done this by running the rule, really, over the world of manufacturers and letting in only certain ones. So, firstly, to be a manufacturer in the ITSF, it's a great honour. It really is a privilege because it means your tables can be played by the very best players at the very best events. And there are five tables. The one we stood next to now is the Bonzini. We'll see the Garlando a little later on. We've got the Leonhardt table, the Warrior table and the Roberto Sport. Now all five of those are available through Home Leisure. Home Leisure, as you know, and, and, and your, your regular customers will find out, is the only company in the UK that can stock all five ITSF tables. So if anyone wants an ITSF table, Home Leisure is the place to come. Now, they're all different, and I describe it like tennis. You've got four tennis tournaments. You've got clay, you've got hardcore in Australia, hardcore in um, America, and the grass in Great Britain. Now, all four of those play very differently. A man's foot will slide differently. The ball will go quicker, it'll take spin, it might bounce higher. Mm -hmm. So it's all very different yep. on every single tennis court. It's exactly the same in the ta world of table football. If I just grab a ball, mm -hmm. so for instance, the ball will bounce off this wall differently than it'll bounce off the Garlando. Very differently to how it bounces off Leonhardt and again Warrior. Roberto Sport, when the ball goes into the wall, it spins out differently to any other table. It, it comes out much sharper if the ball goes in with spin. This table is very grippy, mm -hmm. so you can, you can do a lot of walking the man or ball around. You can do a lot of work here. So is, is the ball always the same? No, the ball's all also different. Each table has its own ball. Right. So it, it, that's different as well. So, for example, this table's got beveled beveled edges on the men, so it's not so easy to do a tic-tac with, okay. but it's very easy to do a front pin with. Right, because it's more grippy. Yeah, right. and for example, the warrior table, the, the American table, is fantastic to do a pull shot on, which is where you pull the ball across and hit it like that. This table, not so much. What, They've all... So in terms of that, that pull shot then, what's the difference? Is it in the... <coughs> Is it, is it the rods? Or it's all to do with, this. well this is a telescopic table, yeah. so the rods don't go through. Every other in ITSF table they've got through rods, they come out here as well. Yeah. So what's interesting and what, what people have got to understand is that you need to be good on one table, but you need to have those transferable skills. Right. For instance, I shoot a shot on the Garlando, on the Warrior, on the Leonhardt and the Roberto Sport that I can't shoot on here. Right. My shot, which is a snake, is much harder to hit on here than any other table. Right. But I can shoot a front pin on here all day long right. because of the nature of the table. So I've learned to play with that. The way you pass from here is different. The way you shoot from here is different. So the way I describe it is so much like tennis. You've got to learn your basic game, what you're good at, and then adapt it to the different tables. But what people always are amazed by the first time they do it is if I play on Bonzini, my Leonhardt game will improve. Right. If I play on Leonhardt, that will improve my Roberto Sport game. My home table is Leonhardt, it's the one I play on regularly. Right. But whenever I play on this table, or the Garlando, or a Warrior, that improves my game on my own table. Right. Because you just, you become an all round better player. Yeah. The best tennis players in the world are the ones that can play on all the courts. Yeah. We know there's a few French and Spaniards who always do very well at the, Fre the, the, the French Open. But they don't really do... Mm. Well, besides Nadal, they don't really do well at the other events. Yeah. Because they become specialists in their table. The best players, Sampras, Nadal, Djokovic, even Murray, have all got good playing on all the, tab on all the, the courts. Yeah. And that's exactly the same with this. The best players in the world, Rob Ather, Frederick Collignon, Todd Lafredo, Billy Pappas, Tony Spreadman, Ryan Moore, they've all got good playing on every table. So, so in the actual finals then, what, what tables are used in the finals or is it, is it, is it, is it home, is it some sort of choice? Yeah, well, or how does it... It, at the Leonhardt World Championships, you'll only play on Leonhardt. The right. Bonzini, you'll only play on Bonzini. But if you go to the, the one event a year, which is you qualify for, which is the overall World Championships, you pick a home table. Right. You pick a table you want to play on. For me, 
I picked Leonhardt because that's my home table. I played against Sebastian Meckes in the, in, the, in, the, in the knockout and he picked Bonzini. So he was Bonzini world champion. Right. And, I, and, I, and Bonzini's not my best table. Yeah. It's not the one of which I want to play him on. Yeah. So we had to play on Bonzini and on my table. Yeah. He ended up being victorious because he had a bit more, he had a bit more power on this table yeah. than I had on that. So his advantage was so much bigger on this table than mine was against so him on that so mine. Uh, so at the finals then they've got all five different brands. All five They're different all brands, there. yeah. You can pick your home It's table. amazing. You'll come in and there'll they'll be, they'll be 30, 40 tables of the different tables on trolleys set up ready and so the organizer the itsf is it's run like a military operation yep. they know that in zone a is ben versus andy andy's chosen garlando ben's chosen warrior we'll bring those two tables in they're about to start in 10 minutes once our game's finished we type our result into the compute we swipe it's a swipe card okay. put who's won yep. the computer automatically sorts the next game out but tells the organizers which table needs to be there and I think we need to give a lot of credit to a guy called Fareed Lunas, who's, who's the president of the ITSF, who's, who's created this and made it all work. He's really organised. Oh, he's fan it's yeah. fantastic. He's, he's got a fantastic organisation that, that works so well and so proactively. It really is something to be very proud yeah, of. Yeah, sounds good. OK, great. Thank you. For more football videos with Ben Mason, please visit homeleisuredirect.com forward slash fuzzball.